This video will feature the new narrative visual in Copilot for Power BI. The new narrative visual goes above and beyond just summarizing data that's on a report. As I'll show in the video, it allows you to enter custom prompts that will then be used to run queries against an Azure OpenAI model. What's super awesome about this narrative visual is that it's a complete SaaS software as a service product. You just drag it onto your Power BI report, enter your prompt, and start testing it out. For a quick introduction, my name is Greg Beaumont, and I currently work in Microsoft's healthcare vertical as a technical specialist for data and AI. The views and content of this video are my own, and anything I say does not represent the views or advice of my employer. At the time of this recording, Copilot for Power BI, which is a component of Microsoft Fabric, is still listed as being in preview. There are actually three different components of Copilot for Power BI at this point. First, there's report creation. There's a few good demos of this already out there on the internet, and I'll provide a link to one of those in the description of the video. In addition to report creation, there's also a narrative visual. This will be what I focus on today in part because I haven't seen a lot of other content out there featuring it for people to review, and also because I think there's extreme value in being able to effectively build the types of prompts that you'd use with ChatGPT into your Power BI reports. Thirdly, there's also a synonyms capability where Copilot can be used to enhance your synonyms within q and I won't review that today, but leave a comment if you'd like to see it in the future. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. The content of this demo can be recreated in your own Fabric environment from a Git repo that I put together with my colleague Ender Rana. A link to that repo will also be included in the description of the video. The Copilot narrative visual will be used with the Direct Lake Star Schema demo, which features the new Fabric Power BI Direct Lake connector running queries over 220 million rows from data that exists as parquet files within the One Lake Fabric environment. Moving over to a Power BI report, in a Fabric workspace, I'll go ahead and put it in edit mode within the browser. And this is a modified version of the same report that you can download from the Git repo. All you have to do is clear the visuals from the canvas and then add a new matrix with city state on rows and a few different calculations on columns. You'll see that this solution is in direct lake mode over 224 million rows in the Fabric One Lake. Over under the visualizations, you'll see that we have the option for a narrative. Let's go ahead and add that to the canvas. And as of right now, you'll see we have two options for either the Copilot preview or a custom narrative. Click on the Copilot preview, and you'll see you get a few basic prompts that will guide OpenAI for the content that it returns. Now there's a lot more you can do with this, but let's just start with the value that this provides right out of the box. When I hit create, it will actually make an API call to an Azure OpenAI large language model and then return results that'll be displayed in the report. Let's go ahead and hit create. I'll go ahead and make the canvas a little bit bigger so we can read it and zoom in. And you'll see that this is providing information that doesn't exist within the source data set. Within the context of the city and state that are on the matrix, it's looking at these calculations on the matrix and then providing a few insights. Now, let me show you how you can get some customized value by using the prompts within the Narrative Copilot. Let's give it a detailed prompt. We'll start with, for the field city state on the matrix, provide a history of the top city on the list. Go ahead and hit Create. Now, if we zoom in again, you'll see that it was able to identify that the top city state on the list was Brooklyn, New York. Then some additional historical factors about Brooklyn, New York are included in the response. Now, let's create another prompt. So this time I typed in, for the field city state on the matrix, provide a comparison of the demographics for the top two cities on the list. Provide URLs for the sources of the data that are included in the response. Let's hit Create. And so in this reply, we actually received a table listing out some of the demographic information for New York, New York, and Brooklyn, New York. And there are also URLs down at the bottom referring to where that data came from. So including in your prompt a strategy to cite the sources or include the URLs could help address some of the misinformation that might happen with a large language model hallucination. And of course, you will see down here at the bottom that when you're creating text with AI, inaccuracies are possible. Now let's try one more prompt. 
So we'll use the prompt for the field city state on the matrix, describe a popular tourist destination in the top two cities. Let's change the in to for each. So the prompt now reads for the field city state on the matrix, describe a popular tourist destination for each of the top two cities. Hit create. And you can see that it gives us information about the Statue of Liberty in New York, New York, and the Brooklyn Bridge in Brooklyn. Now, when you actually deploy this report to end users, what's nice is that this large language model can be rerun again and again and again using the prompt that you provided and within the context of filters that you've selected. So let's say, for example, that we want to switch from all cities in the entire database, and let's switch to Alaska. And you'll see we then have the option to refresh the visual. So let's rerun that large language model query to Azure OpenAI. And you'll see that for Anchorage, it's listing the Alaska Zoo. And for Wasilla, it has the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race headquarters listed as a popular tourist destination. Now let's pick a different state. How about Minnesota? So the top two on the list are Minneapolis and Rochester. And as you can see, it's listing the Mall of America for Minneapolis and the Mayo Clinic for Rochester. So again, this narrative visual within Power BI Copilot for Microsoft Fabric gives you the ability to build in your own prompts within a Power BI report using a drag and drop software as a service or SaaS tool. And you don't have to worry about configuring any of the backend connectivity to just make everything work. And then when you deploy these reports to your end users, you have already controlled the prompt that's determining the content that will be sent to the large language model within Azure OpenAI to get a response. But then they'll be able to rerun that result multiple times based on different filter context and new data that comes into the report. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And any suggestions for future videos would be greatly appreciated in the comments. Thank you.